Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House, and today we are going to learn about two dinosaurs in particular, the Triceratops and the Pentaceratops. So here is a Triceratops. Triceratops actually means three-horned face. Three-horned face. So I wonder why it would be called a three-horned face. Well, if you have a look at its face area, it's got three horns. One, two, three. So three horns on the Triceratops. Now, tri means three. So if you have a triangle, you will notice that a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. So just like a Triceratops, tri means three. And the Triceratops has a three-horned face. One, two, three. So that's why it's called the Triceratops, because it's got three horns on its face. Triceratops. Okay, here we have a Pentaceratops. The word pentaceratops is quite similar to triceratops. So pentaceratops and triceratops both have quite a similar name. They also look quite similar. They both walk on four legs. They have a very protective area around their head and they have horns on their head. They're herbivores. They're very similar. So we've already talked about the Triceratops. Let's talk about the Pentaceratops. So Pentaceratops actually means five-horned face. So let's have a look at the Pentaceratops face. One, two, three, four, five. So the Pentaceratops has five horns on its face. So when we hear the word pent, we're referring to five. So a pentagon is a polygon with five sides. Pent is referring to five, so there's five sides on a pentagon, and the reason it's called a pentaceratops is it's got one, two, three, four, five horns on its face. So that's why we call it the pentaceratops. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Press Play Picture House for more videos and click on those links and you'll see some more. See you next time.